The National Gaming and Control Board on Thursday celebrated its 25th anniversary. It was a night to celebrate the hard work of the staff in transforming the industry to what it is today. Taking the lead, CEO Imelda Argon couldn't be more proud of her staff, acknowledging their commitment, which has allowed NGCB to transform into a modern and vibrant organization that has contributed 1.3 billion kina to the government since 2012. The NGCB in the history of the National Game Control Board, we've never had degree holders from lawyers to accountants to different fields, even IT. But today we have a pool of young people that are the very people that have driven my reason to change the course of the National Game Control Board. The primary purpose of NGCB is to protect the stability of the gaming industry through investigation, licensing, enforcement of laws and regulations, and to ensure the collection of gaming taxes. Following its reformation and establishment of corporate plans in 2012, the National Gaming and Control Board is contributing 55% of its revenue to the government through the gaming machine tax. Within the last 10 years, under the leadership of the current CEO Imelda Argon, NGCB's revenue collection has rapidly increased from 150 million kina to more than 380 million kina. We've come this far and the NGCB, I believe, is here to stay with the help of everyone else. As part of entertainment that evening, the staff also showcased their different uniforms. Staff and guests ended the night with a surprise Silver Jubilee fireworks. And a live concert by Party Ports and his amazing band.